It's like the mountain, you know, it's, it's because it's there. I think it allows you to not take for granted the good things that you have. You go through a lot of suffering, it's tough. And I think you come out on the other side a better person. You're going into the unknown, and I think that's what I find more appealing about it, because you don't know what's going to happen. It, it's like living a life in a day. It would be interesting to go through all those emotions in the span of 32 hours or less. I love being out in these mountains. I love this area out here. It's a great way to see, you know, just a lot of trails all in one weekend. Uh, it's a big challenge. Uh, it feels good to cross the finish line, but I don't really know. It's like after the pain of the last one, I wasn't, uh, in those last three miles, I was thinking maybe this isn't for me, but once I crossed the finish line, I was ready to try it again, so. got into running in my late 20s just as a, as a fitness thing, as a way to try and just get healthier. And after recovering from an injury, I uh, was advised by my doctor to stick to softer surfaces that I, I was running on. So uh, he told me to run on tracks, run on trails, and so I started running on trails and that's what, what drew me to it. I like being outside. I like the diversity that you get when you're uh, outside and in the woods. and. Uh, when it comes to trail racing, there's nothing quite like the community that you get at a trail race, the wide and diverse uh, group of people that gather for these types of things and the camaraderie that exists. Even though it is an athletic competition at its core, a lot of these runners that come out and do these kinds of things, they're kind of pushing each other along the entire day, which you don't see in a lot of other sports. You know, they're, everybody's competing against each other while they're also trying to get each other to succeed, which you don't uh, really see very often. So that's something that's really unique to uh, trail running and these types of adventure activities. And that's something that I think uh, Kentucky could use a whole lot more of.